This is the Investor Connect podcast program. This is Hall T. Martin. I'm the host of the show, in which we interview angel investors, venture capital, private equity, family offices, and many other investor groups for startups and growth companies. I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you for joining us. Well, hello, this is Hall Martin with Investor Connect. Today we're here with Ivan Maltsev, general partner at 3X Capital. 3X Capital is the first Ukrainian impact-driven VC fund. They are an ecosystem that supports founders in building blockchain products. Ivan, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Paul, for inviting me. And so where are you calling from today? Right now I'm in Kyiv, uh, at home, uh, in Ukraine. Great. So tell us more about your background before joining 3X Capital. Sure. Uh, before joining 3X, I was a lawyer. I started my career in the court uh, here in Kyiv. Uh, then I was working as a legal counsel in uh, leading international uh, pharmaceutical companies. Um, I found my work quite boring after a couple of years uh, being a lawyer. Uh, so I decided to start investing in crypto uh, slowly as a retail investor in 2016. And then in 2017, uh, I quit my job, applied for a PhD degree in the European University to study international economy, because frankly, I had no clue how the market works. Uh, and then uh, I studied there for five years. At the same time, I was uh, actively uh, researching and participating in different uh, things in the market, like uh, ICOs, um, different testing activities, uh, investing, managing portfolios, launching uh, quant uh, trading strategies. And then uh, in 2018, I joined a family office uh, that was based in Thailand as an investment analyst and portfolio manager. Uh, so I was lucky to work there, to have this experience and to understand how the institutional investors uh, think and uh, behave. So after that, in uh, 2020, I uh, was able to uh, participate in the exchange program that was organized by U.S. government called uh, Ukrainian Business Leaders Promoting Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And uh, lucky me, I met uh, my partners, uh, Dima and Taras, with whom we actually became uh, friends uh, during this uh, insightful program in the U.S. Uh, we started in Washington, D.C., then Austin, San Diego, L.A., San Francisco, and uh, after that, uh, as I mentioned, we became friends and decided to start uh, 3X. So 3X is more about our synergy, about our culture, not about the returns. Great. So what excites you right now? Um, a lot of things. Uh, first of all, um, people uh, who keep building uh, during this uh, hard circumstances from, from different parts of the world. Uh, keep building uh, innovations and new products that uh, are solving some particular uh, problems. Um, this is something huge, I think. Um, I respect uh, people a lot for, for being this uh, professional and hardworking. Uh, second, uh, I can say that um, new technologies that we have right now, uh, like um, scaling solutions for Ethereum that uh, have already a lot of traction uh, from the user uh, circumstances just to understand um, the layer two solutions have uh, three times more transactions uh, right now than uh, Ethereum uh, as a, a main layer one network. Um, of course, uh, liquid staking derivatives, uh, something that is uh, uh, very popular, especially this year, uh, products like Lido, uh, where you can stake your uh, ETH and after that receive a derivative of this asset and you can work with this uh, second asset um, but at the same time you receive a returns from staking your ETH so usually it's up to 5% of uh, yield per year uh, but this uh, liquid staking derivative you can also provide as a liquidity or borrow uh, additional capital to to invest by providing uh, your derivative as a collateral. So there are so many opportunities in DeFi. At the same time, I'm very excited about the future because uh, there are some areas that uh, still are underdeveloped. Uh, for me, as a portfolio manager, as an investor, it's important to have proper tools for managing uh, my own and client's portfolio. Uh, so portfolio management for DeFi for this market is something that excites me a lot. 
uh, as well as insurance for DeFi, because only in 2022, we had so many hacks that uh, we almost achieved 4 billion in uh, in uh, hacks. Uh, so I think uh, insurance for, for this market would be something that uh, we, we need and we expect it uh, a lot when the institutional money will come. Uh, so soon, uh, soon we will see a lot of developments. And to to sum up, I'm very excited to work with uh, hardworking people in the market who are creating uh, new innovations. I'm excited about the technologies, about layer two solutions, liquid stake and derivatives, portfolio management tools for DeFi and insurance. Great. You work in the blockchain world, and you see a lot of investors and a lot of startups. What's your advice for people investing in startups in the blockchain sector? What do you tell them to do before they write that check? First of all, I think that they should have at least um, a background on the investment side. So this market is uh, quite unique, uh, but the basic uh, education in terms of the early stage investments like uh, angel investor or a venture fund education. You can check different uh, programs by the Founders Institute uh, in California, or you can also apply to our programs that we do at 3X Education. So uh, I think Hall will provide some links about us after this meeting. So the, the basic is education. The second is uh, do not uh, waste a lot of time on the uh, deal sourcing, but spend more time on the actual research. So when you find a startup and you want to invest there, uh, do your own research. So use the instruments that you know to identify the valuation of the startup based on several criteria. So you can have different metrics uh, from uh, from scoring uh, to some other metrics that might be used for, uh, for early stage investments. So that's uh, the second and the last one. Have a clear plan in mind uh, regarding your exit strategy. So if you are investing without understanding of uh, the final uh, kind of uh, uh, results, without understanding uh, how you would like to exit and how you will help the startup to uh, to grow, um, you will not succeed. Uh, so to, to sum up the education, the research and the exit strategy, those three things that I would suggest to everyone before before investing. Great. And on the other side of that table, what's your advice for founders who are starting blockchain companies? What do you tell them to do before they go out to raise funding? Good question. And um, I think um, the first one would be the same. So the education is important. If you are the first time founder, definitely apply to some leading uh, acceleration programs. Um, that's the first. So spend some time to understand how uh, things uh, works in, in the world of uh, Web3. So there are some cool programs uh, like, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Ali, uh, Alliance XYZ, uh, A16Z, Crypto School, and some others uh, programs that you definitely should apply and uh, just uh, uh, spend some time on uh, exploring uh, your idea and building it. Uh, second, uh, focus on uh, user experience, uh, on the quality uh, instead of quantity. So spend more time on building product, especially during this market cycle. So when uh, you do not need to hurry up, but you need to build. So focus right now on education and on the product. Uh, later on, when we will have the better uh, market conditions, it would be nice to focus on the marketing, on other activities on the community, on the fundraising. But right now, I think uh, it's not a good market to raise uh, capital, but it's a good market to learn and to build. Great. Well, you know, the state of blockchain investing has changed over the, the last few years. Where do you see it going from here? What do you think we'll see next in the blockchain space? Um, as a fund, right now, we are more interested to invest in equity of the startups, but at the same time to help the startup to issue their uh, token uh, that will serve the community with uh, some um, useful utilities. Um, so uh, in our case, we are focusing on the companies that are already generating revenue instead of the uh, products that do not understand how they will become profitable. So the, the first trend is that uh, Web3 companies uh, 
uh, started to earn money <laughs> actually during the past uh, two years we we see a lot of uh, cool uh, cool products uh, for instance a year ago we had uh, a launch of uh, Stepan uh, a moving app uh, that uh, uh, had uh, more than 112 million dollars in revenue uh, just in second quarter uh, so just imagine uh, what amount of money some simple mobile application can generate from sport activities from commissions uh, inside of it also uh, there are many many other uh, products that are successful like OpenSea, for instance a marketplace for nfts world known of course the trends and the market sentiment is changing uh, but in general uh, from our uh, perspective uh, we are focusing on companies that are uh, generating revenue uh, right now uh, that uh, maybe they are not cash positive but uh, they uh, at least uh, understand uh, how they can scale you know so in general the market changed uh, with the uh, huge impact of this uh, kind of cream to winter so the valuations of the web3 startups if we are speaking about equity went down like 60 70 80 percent and right now we see uh, this as a huge opportunity for the next five ten years so uh, we are welcome to onboard uh, new lps who, who might be interested to to explore this market and be in this market pretty early because we see a big opportunity right now uh, for instance, uh, this month we will invest in Engrave. Engrave is, uh, uh, is uh, producing a hardware wallets similar to Ledger and Trezor uh, in Belgium uh, and selling them uh, worldwide. So right now they are generating $4 million in revenue this year already and they have $30 million uh, valuation. Uh, they are offering equity investment with uh, token warrant. So all people who will invest right now in their equity will receive a one-to-one -one, uh, token for the same amount with the, the same valuation with, in the future. Uh, so this is a huge opportunity, uh, I, I think, and uh, we, we are keen to support uh, this kind of startups with, with the revenue, with uh, the potential for growth, with a reasonable valuation at the same time. And the token oh. warrant deal structure. So you, when you invest uh, in um, in equity plus token warrant, actually you are mitigating the risks of uh, of equity because you will receive a token uh, that can be listed on the exchange. And in this case, uh, Binance Labs has joined the round with as a lead investor, and probably Binance will list uh, their token in the past. So investors like we, like Binance, will be able to exit uh, much earlier from. From the tokens that they will receive in the future, and the equity and the revenue from uh, equity will be a, a good bonus for for investors in the future. And so, what are the primary challenges in the blockchain space today for startups? What investors should we investors be looking for? There are so many challenges. Um, I can say there is a huge lack of talents and uh, professionals in the market. Uh, in terms of uh, so software engineers uh, who are uh, experts in the blockchains, there are so many new languages, new uh, new blockchains that were born, born just recently during the past uh, two years. And we need more talents who will join and start earn money and create innovation there. Uh, many people, because of this volatility, you know, because of high risks, they, they uh, cannot uh, trust uh, this market. Unfortunately, so I think this is a big uh, challenge to, to find uh, great talents for your team to, to build, first of all, a cool product. The second uh, part is uh, in business development. So uh, we need more people from the uh, um, kind of experienced founders who will start building their products uh, together with engineers in this market, but they have some experience of uh, building successful businesses generating revenue, doing exits. So um, I think the, the major challenge uh, is market in general, uh, but uh, also talents in the market are so important uh, because right now we are building the products uh, of the future. So something that will be probably exciting for, uh, for people in two, three, five years, uh, something that retail users are not uh, using right now. So. They, uh, they will have this opportunity in, in the couple of years. Uh, for instance, uh, right now we are building the world's first on-chain mobile app. Uh, 
so it is built on uh, internet computer protocol. Uh, that is one of the uh, leading blockchains. People will be able uh, to uh, rent property uh, using their uh, crypto. Uh, so that's uh, very easy. And uh, this is some type of product that uh, can lead more more adoption for, uh, for daily users in this market. Great. Well, if you could start a blockchain business tomorrow, what would that be? Uh, as I mentioned, we are building this uh, exciting uh, crypto-friendly property rental mobile app uh, that is built on the uh, blockchain. So I'm a part of the uh, core team and I'm very excited about this product. It's called uh, RentSpace. It brings some additional values, not only the uh, crypto friendly, but when you search for the property in the app, you see a short form videos, uh, like t in TikTok, instead of uh, pictures and descriptions. So the first thing that you see when you search for the property, you see a video instead of pictures. So this is a kind of a revenu revolutionary marketing strategy that we have there. Uh, at the same time, a new generation of uh, crypto users will be able to pay using their crypto instead of converting crypto, paying someone some fees for conversion and then paying 20 or 18% more fees to Airbnb or Booking. You can do it like with your crypto with much lower fees and the fees in our app will be from 5 to 10% instead of 20. So this is something that I'm very excited about. There are some other cool uh, startups that we are accelerating right now. Uh, for instance, uh, a launchpad that will help uh, production companies of movies to create, uh, to, to raise funding for, uh, for their next uh, movie or series uh, using the blockchain technology and using the token. Uh, so we will uh, bring more adoptions through, through the movies, through series, through um, other uh, products to, to the uh, space. Great. Well, in the last minutes that we have here today, what else should we cover that we haven't? Um, no, thank you. Thank you, Hol, for uh, all you are doing for the startup ecosystem. Uh, we receive a lot of uh, value from your uh, emails, from from the podcasts that you are creating. I'm just grateful for, for your uh, work on that and looking forward for uh, the future podcast. Always a pleasure to be a guest of yours. Thank you. Well, great. Well, how best for listeners to get back in touch with you? I will provide the uh, my LinkedIn profile and also I will provide the uh, uh, websites uh, of our products. So you will be able to uh, check uh, everything and uh, reach out to me. I'm, I'm very open and uh, ready to, uh, to work and uh, collaborate with uh, talented people in the space. Well, we'll include that in the show notes. I want to thank you for joining us today and hope to have you back for a follow-up soon. Sure. Thank you, Paul. I will send to you the links uh, today. Investor Connect helps investors interested in startup funding. In this podcast series, experienced investors share their experience and advice. You can learn more at InvestorConnect.org. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early-stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.